Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Artifact 4, Call to Krieg at Germany. Let us continue on for the last of off. So, two big things happened. Firstly, war in South America. Argentina and Brazil are now in open warfare with one another, and we are helping Argentina absolutely obliterate the Brazilians. It's actually a little sad looking at this. Secondly, we have been replaced. The Kaiser has replaced um, the previous ruler, uh, Brunning, I think, was uh, who was in charge. He's in replace now with uh, Blumenthal due to our own headcanon of uh, he. the military didn't like him very much. Just, just roll with it, okay? I'm also, between episodes, like, I was trying to think of thumbnails. Um, I, I couldn't get the idea of this thumbnail in my head. Everybody knows, you know the Simpsons meme? Where it's the two monkeys fighting and everybody's like cheering them all with, mon with money. I couldn't get that idea out of my head, so I had to make the picture. I don't know what else to do with it, so I'm showing it to you now. But that, there we go. I, I made this. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's good. That's where we're at. That's where I at in, uh, in my life. 1950 carriers. Um, those are all 56, so I think it's a little too expensive. But artillery tech is usually fairly cheap, so we'll go and get that going. And things, I think, are looking pretty, pretty good. Sierra Nation is open up to oil prospecting. Does that mean anything for me? Maybe. We could surround Rio. Rio de Janeiro has fallen. Apparently, this actually counts as Rio. Battle for Rio de Janeiro seems to have ended after days of gruesome battle by assault by Argentine forces. That is not true. It was me. Let... <laughs> Let Arnha know that it was me. The classic Game of Thrones reference. I don't know if anybody has ever seen that. Okay. Argentina and the United States of Brazil have signed a white peace. The United States of Brazil is now shifted towards the Reichs Pact. So presumably, this country now has Reichs Pact political ties. So we've won. Now, funnily enough, like he doesn't get replaced. He's still the leader. I think he's maybe his party has changed. Now he's authoritarian Democrat as opposed to being... I think they were conservative before, but don't quote me on that. But yes, okay, it seems like this doesn't actually do anything now that the war is actually over. We won extremely quickly. And goal independence. Also, it does not actually influence uh, this minigame at all. So yeah, we're definitely getting like towards the end. This actually might be the final episode. Um, depending on how things go. But what I'm going to do first and foremost is state management. Not you. You are going to uh, clear this. This state. Transfer to Noral Paraguay. So there we go. You are now owned by... Um, you're now owned by Paraguay proper. But, you know, let's transfer like one more state to Argentina. And then we'll mark uh, two more states... As being militarized. That do I do? Remilitarize mark states? I don't know if I did. I don't know if that worked. Oh no, there we go. We want to demilitarize them. There we go. So let, let's just pretend that's the new uh, outcome here. So now you have rights back political ties. So you're more aligned with us. You do hate us still. You hate us because of the call to Krieg. But that's fine. We have supported our al allies in Argentina. We have won a war against the Brazilians, and more importantly, we won a war against the Canadians. That's really what we're here for. Now, unfortunately, you are still at level 3. Canada has not decided to intervene more directly yet, which is a real shame. Okay, we're beholden the constitutionalism. We can get uh, more people into our col uh, coalition. Germany need not uh, need be a, a one-party state. In fact, we will do well to form a coalition of moderates from the opposition. Excellent. Let's get that going now. Our volunteers have now returned home. Let's send you to this army. We have too many troops. There we go. We've now resolved that issue. What about uh, the Cantonese? You're still mostly just hanging out. Like, again, if Canada in the Accord were to go to war with the American Union State directly, these volunteers would not be here anymore. And I think that would be nice. Because the Canadians are sending in, you know, armor divisions. France is sending in armor divisions. There's a lot of nasty stuff going on here. Also, Fr the French Republic is completely <laughs> collapsing. Their French em their empire is no more. Niger, Mali, Senegambia, Tunisia. 
you know, Algeria is going to leave soon. Mortani, I'm assuming, is going to leave. They may be able to keep, like, the, uh, the, the Ivory Coast. But we'll have to see. Labor has won the 54 election in Australia. Congratulations to Labor. They've done it. But, like, how is France going to survive? Their stability is pretty low. Apparently, they are currently uh, politically deadlocked. And they have now lost their colonies. They have turmoil. I would say it's probably going a little bit past turmoil if it was, uh, if I were describing it. The Treaty of Villa Gusti. Today, the residents of Gusti del Giardino in northern Italy, the Italian and Nubian foreign minister, signed the Treaty of Villa Gusti, a protocol that aims at bettering the relationship between the two countries. While both sides conceded on uh, certain points, the territorial claims that came to Italy were the focal point of the meeting. While a large amount of the population and political uh, scene completely opposed open talks with authorities from Vienna, the force of reason had finally made the Italians accept their position. With this treaty, both signatories uh, expect their relation to improve, as both sides do not hold territorial claims against one another, and uh, combined with almost a guaranteed increase in trade and diplomatic ties. The prospect of European peace uh, grounds itself more and more into reality. Well, I'm glad to see that. It means that a war between us and Albania should towards the Reich's Pact. German Albanian officials gathered today for an announcement that many international observers had anticipated. Albania's official entry into the Reichspact. Most uh, expected, following German support in the crushing of the social revolution, that joining the Reichspact would soon follow the restoration of order. Both countries presented the decision as mutually beneficial. Albania specifically highlighted the Reichspact as a critical bulwark against radicalism and syndicalism resurgence, where most experts see this as a clear diplomatic coup for Germany, who now possesses a strong foothold in the Balkans, where they most assuredly took uh, look to spread their influence further. We've got Albania. Now, half of Albania is owned by Greece, which isn't a coordination, which might uh, foster some tensions here. Look at this, we're at 82 points. Albanian the Reichspact. The inter Albanian the Reichspact has boosted our influence globally. Somewhat. Excellent. I would say more than somewhat. You know, is it, I mean, is it our only actual direct control into the Mediterranean? I mean, I guess we have uh, Morocco as well. But really, it's our only actual ally in the Mediterranean. Like, Danubia is allied with us, but they're not actually, um, in our faction. They're, they're just a, uh, they're just a, a defensive tie. So, like, if we were to get attacked, then yes, you know, Austria would join our faction. But right now, they're just kind of doing their own thing, which is a bit of a shame. I prefer if they did things for me and me alone. Cultivated the coalition. Excellent. Added a restraint of form, political power gain, minus 10%. For 5% more stability. I mean, we kind of need to get all of this done. A permanent government. Radicalism has no place in Germany. It goes against everything that we have fought and died for. A series of law we drafted in the Reichstag to make it more difficult for dangerous ideas like social and republicanism to find fertile ground in the fatherland. I'm surprised that these have events. Or have some de descriptions. Maybe that's actually like more recent, because I feel like some of these were just blank before. Okay, some of them are. Some of them are still blank. But we will uh, continue on. Carl II of Romania has died. So that is, yeah, Mikhail the uh, the first now. Maybe he'll, uh, is Romania the democratic? What are they? They're authoritarian right now. But authoritarian democratic is still arguably democratic. I mean, as with the coup d'etat that I kind of forced on our country, they, they, they don't like us too much. But I mean, I understand. But uh, I think they should like me a little bit more. So Russia... I'm going to send you another shipment of 10,000 rifles. Okay, buddy? You guys take this. American Union say... It looks like they're finally starting to um, push back. So we're sending you 1,000 guns per day. Tunisia's transition to a republic. Good for them. What else do we want? Let's do excavation uh, 3. I think that seems like a good uh, choice for us. The anti-tank weapons are going to increase... Let's follow that up with... Do we have anybody on support company? Oh yeah, let's make our headquarters even better. The headquarters are really, really, really good. Okay. Upgrade anti-tank weapons. You know what? Let's... Scout plane 2 is probably not what I want. Where is, um... The SAM missiles? I don't even know what we use these for, but let's at least have some of them just for funsies. But 5 on you... We're making, like, take one off of this. We can probably take five off of rifle production. We can take you off anti-tank. 
Take one factory off of you. Why are we still making the wartime CV? Is that the best we have? No. We have Jet Fighter 2. So replace him immediately. I don't even know. Oh no, Jet Fighter 2 is down here. Look, get, get rid of this entirely then. We don't need it anymore. Let's build some uh, marine patrol aircraft. I think that's really what Germany was lacking was more boats to or more planes to look at the ocean. The fall of Algiers. The French Republic forces returned to Algiers today, but this time restored their order rather than uh, plan in exile. Despite calls for decolonization and a fierce resistance of native Algerians, the French government was determined to land and reclaim the joy city. At a regressive slowly, albeit efficiently, uh, effectively through the great colonial avenues near the coast, the French Republic forces met heavy resistance when leaving the uh, side of the bay. Okay. So French troops have now arrived in Algeria. Can I just send you a one-time ship? I'm sending everybody weapons, man. Let's send you a one-time shipment of 5,000... Uh, 2,500 rifles. You'll need that to fight the French. Yes, you got war with the French Republic. Chad has now uh, become a new country. I don't know why it's got a T in front of his name. That might be something I'm just uh, not aware of. Let's promote the Prussian spirit. What about, like, what other wars are happening? Is there anything else I actually care about? Current wars, American Civil War, Ugandan Civil War, Palestinian Egyptian War, the Syrian conflict, the Russian Civil War, Algeria, Katanga. You know what? I probably should send the Katanga weapons, huh? Not volunteer. No, oh, excuse me. Not volunteers. Let's send you a one-time shipment of 3,000 rifles. Sounds great. And how do we feel about, like, Israel and Egypt? We like, we like you because we're trade partners. You like us because we're trade partners. And Palestine is just Palestine. Okay. So if that's the case... We need more of you. Why am I not getting any from you anymore? I don't know. But we'll get some more from the Dutch. Importing too much tungsten from... Get that from China. Chromium. We can reduce that a little bit as well. So we're trading Egypt for tungsten. Okay. Not getting anything from you. Steel we don't need. Obviously, chromium is from Austria and Danubia. And oil we're not getting anything from either. Well, I don't know if we really care too much one way or the other who actually wins in, um, who win who wins here. Hazib al Islami, Farouk the first. Now, typically, um, if we if we go back to say, uh, Kaiserreich, normal Kaiserreich, the international typically backs Egypt. Well, we typically back the Ottomans. Now, it looks like in this timeline, of course, the Ottomans lost the desert war. So, we are technically, I think, still, like, slightly hostile to the Egyptian government due to that, uh, due to that fact. So, if that's the case, I guess we want to back Israel and Egypt against them? Docket output. Uh, give me a construction speed. And then Palestine by proxy, 4 to 10, 4 to 7, 4 to 13. Sure, let's send Palestine... Uh, 2,500. Send them some weapons as well. And then we'll send Israel a, uh, another handful. We'll send them also 2,500. I, I feel like that makes sense. Because if, if Egypt, again, look how socialist they are as well. 23% radical socialist. 23% authoritarian socialist. I, and 21% national populace, which I'm assuming the national populace very much are not friendly of European powers. So I, I don't think we are of any interest in supporting the Egyptians there. At least that's my read of the situation. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, now get better rifles. You know, let's actually send you back to 10. What are we, are we building factories? Yeah, we are building military. We have so, we're building so much shit. Holy hell. Our consumer goods are actually crazy. Which I'm very, very, very happy to see. I'm, I'm glad that it's there. 
By the way, how's our balance of power looking? I mean, we're right now at 88 points. I honestly, I'm, I'm wondering how does Canada actually pull ahead of Germany in this mini game? I mean, when, when we play Canada, you know, we will, of course, um, be able to try to overcome Germany. But it, it's got to be a tricky thing to do, right? Like, you probably you need to win American Civil War. You probably need to win in China. Middle Africa needs to collapse. Like, everything needs to kind of go in your favor. Because economically, I don't see how Canada can compete. One of the one of the modifiers is, uh, you know, nuclear weapons. You know, uh, Germany has a head start on that. One of them is international aid. Uh, Germany, uh, again, has significantly more allies to invest in. So I don't know where or how Canada could actually compete. Sure, let's keep on building... Uh, this stuff bridging the east west gap we'll spend some points on that 1458 days i mean that's insane amount of time but we'll get that going we'll invest in poland as well looks good electrification nuclear weapons i think we're good on all of that i don't think we need to advance uh those shenanigans any more than we already have what about you guys Let's just have you finish one more boat each, and then we can think about uh, upgrading you to level 2. It looks like those boats will be done this year anyways. No longer getting the effects of some sort of payment. And that's okay. We don't need that. We don't need that payment anyway, presumably. Maybe we do. Burma has shifted towards the Accord. You guys are garbage men. Let's go for 1950 Carrier Hall. Ah, oh, should I have to actually make... I have no idea how to make a boat. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, what do you need? You need deck space. What about hangar space? You need deck space one. Deck armor. Secondary battery. Ski jump. Deck size goes down, but you're a lot cheaper. Deck size goes down. You can own more planes. You know what? Let's get the ski jump. We'll make that cheaper. Um... Deck space one, huh? Oh, we need something here. Can have more than one ski jump. Fine. You then can have a small secondary battery. Design's too expensive. I have no navy experience. You know, fine, whatever. We'll, we'll ignore this for now. Not that it's not that big of a deal. I have no naval experience. I guess we could just uh, send some dudes out. Or we can, or we just get like a chief of navy. You know, 0.3 daily. Should be enough for us to design new naval vessels. Reaffirms the Hitter's Trust. Now, they are still opposed. I don't know if there's anything we could do to make them, like, super happy. War support. Manage national debt. Yeah, national highway sounds great. Who doesn't, who doesn't love a good highway, right? Like, highways are pretty cool. How many troops? We're 76, 222 versus 46, 117. Are we going to need to directly intervene in the Russian Civil War on behalf of the provisional government? Like, this is now... Do we know when this war started? I don't... I don't... Like, it, it was very... It's, it's gotta be, like, three years at this point, right? Like, it's been going on for a while. You're getting Lend-Lease from us and the French. I mean, I'm happy, happy to see France is supporting you as well. You're getting Lend-Lease, of course, from a lot of Accord nations, but... I mean, maybe the Canadians don't want to go up to level 4 for the reason that uh, we would be able to directly send troops to the American Union state. So I would understand where their hesitancy would come from. Because if I was in this situation, I probably also... If I knew I couldn't win a war against American Union State directly to try to rush our way to level 5, I also probably would avoid moving our way into the Pacific States. And uh, escalating tensions even further. But maybe I'm missing something? I don't, I don't think I am, but... You know, just maybe, just maybe. Maybe they don't have enough political power. I mean, if you need 50, maybe they just don't have the points for it. Maybe they don't have the juice. Hey, free building slots. Military austerity is finished. Okay, so we did get something actually for completing that focus. So that's nice. The minister president of Danubia has died. How sad. We're not building any of you. 
We have even more dog hairs. I guess we can start making some convoys. Put just put five on this for now. 1950. What are like 1950 submarine? You need torpedoes. Torpedo tubes. Two costs 14. Um, we can put some mine laying rails on it. Mine laying tubes. Sure. There we go. Now we can build a 1950 submarine. I don't know why it's got like an afro or, or like a mohawk, I should say. That's fine. We'll put uh, 10 on these uh, submarine for now. They build pretty quickly, actually. Even though they are the most uh, up-to-date submarines available. So Katanga is unfortunately, I think, screwed. <laughs> it's like they're... It, it's just a matter of time when they die. I, and I don't know how long that will take. American Union State, my good friend. I mean, is there anything, anything else I could do for you? Negotiate licenses. Which I think is buying licenses off of them. I can't tell them how to make new planes, unfortunately. We can now produce uh, better mechanized divisions. We'll get that going. You know, what if we just also start sending you... Like, here's some Veal Creek era jets. I have a thousand of them in storage. Take 750 of them. Uh, and then aside from that, take some other shittier planes as well. You know, take the whole stack. Take, take the whole lot. There you go. Having a massive, massive uh, air superiority over the Pacific States has got to get you to where I want you to be, right? Like, that would make sense. Uh, naval. What about naval support? What do we got in here? Naval helicopters. Improved naval countermeasures. What about uh, Im improved emergency pumps? That will reduce critical hit chance by 10%. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Now, they've almost pushed their way to Los Angeles. We're going to take San Diego in just a second. And then they can take San Francisco, Sacramento. That should affect Nigeria's move towards the Accord, really. Nigeria. Oh, so the French Republic. Okay, so they, they were able to hold on to Algeria. But they did lose the rest of their entire colonial empire, which is just embarrassing. But if I uh, I think at least right now is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed it, thumbs up. Nigel, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.